Welcome to Al-Afaq International School, Jeddah Virtual Learning Classroom. Unit 5, Lesson 1, What is an Ecosystem? Instructions, listen to the lessons, explanations, open your book on page 204 to 209, solve the questions, check your answers, give a star to each correct answer. Standard, Earth, Materials, and Systems. Objectives, learn how living and non-living things interact in an ecosystem. Learn the meaning of ecosystem, habitat, population, and community. Learn how ecosystems may change over time. Today we will complete talking about our lesson, but first we will make revision, then we will complete. Okay, so please, video time, see with me this video, then we will complete. All living things, like plants and animals, need a certain environment to survive. Environments are composed of living and non-living things. The living and non-living parts of an environment interact to make up an ecosystem. The living parts and non-living parts of an ecosystem depend on one another. For example, plants need sunlight, soil, air, and water to grow. The place where a living thing makes its home is its habitat. A habitat has everything that a plant or animal needs to survive. The habitat of some monkeys is trees in a rainforest. Groups of the same kind of living thing that live in the same place make up a population. For example, all of the water buffalo living in a certain area make up its population. All the different populations that live in the same place make up a community. The populations of a community depend on each other too. Got it? Sure you do. Okay, this video talk about living things and non-living, that they live in the ecosystem, and also they said population. What is the meaning of all of this? In this picture here, we want to talk first, and we want to revise the meaning of living and non-living things, okay? So describe the living and non-living things in the picture, okay? Here in this picture, we have two living, we have two non-living things, okay? What is the meaning of living? Living Anything can breathe, can move, can drink, can smell, can what, can eat food, all of this, okay? But non-living can do anything, clear? Okay, living like what? We have three kinds of living things, like plants, animals, humans, clear? Plants, animals, humans. But non-living, what is the meaning of non-living? Non-living, like anything can't move, can't walk, can't uh, eat, can't sleep, can't drink, can't do anything. Clear? In this picture, what are these we have here? This the starfish, okay? It's a living. And also here we have plant, also living. The two non-living things in this picture, like water is non-living, and also rocks. Clear? Okay. Places for living things, where living things can live, where we can find living things. We said before that each kind of living things need a certain environment. What is the meaning of need certain environment? Mean, mean need a certain place to live. Certain environment means certain place to live. And you know that not all living things live in the same place. The place where the bear live different than the place where the deer live. They don't live in the same place. Each living thing need its environment, need 
certain environment, needs certain environment, okay? A living thing's environment is everything around it. Everything around it means the place live, he can live in, lives in, okay? An environment has living and non-living parts. In the same environment, in the same place, living and non-living parts, they live together. They help each other, okay? Live together, help each other, act together also. So this means interact together, clear? In the same place, in the same environment, we can find living and non-living parts. They live together in the same place. So because they live together, they should share everything together, help each other, they should act together, clear? Living parts include what? Living parts, living things like what? Like plants, animals, humans. Again, plants, animals, humans. But non-living parts like what? Like sunlight, like air, like water, like soil. We have many more, okay? Many, many, many more, not only these, right? In your home, what are the living things in your home? Like the desk, like the bed, the chair, the wall, the door. We have many non-living things. But here in this lesson, we talk about habitats, environments for the plants, for the animals, and the living thing around us, like what? Like the sunlight, like air, water, and soil. See here, we have two environments, okay, different. The environment that the bear needs, different than the environment for this bird, right? They don't live in the same environment, clear? Okay, he is a living, okay? This one, this bear is a living. It is a living thing, right? And also this one, the bird is a living, okay? need its certain environment. Also this one need its certain environment, right? Okay, in its environment, we don't find only the uh, living things, okay? We have living and non-living in the same environment. We have living and non-living in the same environment, okay? The living here in this picture, the bear, it's an animal, and also we have plants here. Right? Okay, what are the non-living in this picture and the non-living around this bear? We have here the rocks, non-living. Also, we can find sunlight, non-living. Also, what? We can find air, water, like this. Look here in this environment, what we can see, the living thing here is this bird, okay? And in its environment, we can find living and non-living, like what here, the non-living, like the water is non-living, and also here the soil is non-living, air also, clear? Okay. In this page, we have questions and we already solved them. What parts of an ecosystem are affected by the sun's heat? In any environment, there is a sun, right? The sunlight, so how can this sun help living and non-living, okay? This sun make what? Warm the place, okay? Make heat in this place, in the environment. Warm what? Warm everything. Warm the living things and also can warm non-living things, clear? Non-living mean it warms what? It warms the air, it warms the water, it warms the soil. Also, it warms the bird, the animals, the plants, like this, clear? So, do you remember the answer? Earth, air, water, and soil are warmed by the sun's heat. Another question in the same page, explain how birds interact with living and non-living things, like the picture before, how the bear interact, because we said that any living thing that live in its environment, 
They should interact together with, with what? With living and also with non-living. Interact with living and also interact with non-living. How the bear can interact with living, with another animal? How? By eating them, right? Okay. How can interact with non-living? We said also this one before. How interact with non-living? This bear can drink water, okay? This bear can, this bear can what? Can also swim in this water, can breathe air, clear? So if we talk about this picture here, bears eat fish, eat what? Eat fish, clear? Which are living, fish is a living, so eat fish mean eat living things. So by this way can interact with living things. How can interact with non-living? Bears swim in water, which is non-living, swim in water, or also drink water, which is non-living. The second part in our lesson that talk about ecosystem, ecosystem, and also we finish already this one. What is ecosystem? Do you remember the meaning of ecosystem? What is the meaning of ecosystem? The living and non-living parts of an environment interact, make up an ecosystem. You remember this one? Show me your hands, put your hands in front of you, one for living and one for non-living. Say with me, living and non-living parts of an e environment, of an environment interact, make what? Ecosystem interact make ecosystem so again your hands living and non-living parts of an environment interact make up an ecosystem living and non-living parts in their environment interact to make what to make ecosystem what is the meaning of they interact this word interact what is the meaning they interact interact means to act together. Interact mean to act together. What is the meaning of interact? Act together. Help each other. Share everything together. Okay? And the example here for the ecosystem we have in our book, we have many, many ecosystems. Okay? But the example in our book is a marsh. So marsh is a type of wetland ecosystem. You know the meaning of wetland? You know before the wetland ecosystem? Wetland, we take it before in grade two, right? Wetland, it's a place, has a lot of water, okay? And uh, the plants that live in this place, the plants need, that need a lot of water, not all plants need a lot of water. The plants need a lot of water, only can live in this place, in this ecosystem. Like grasses, okay, like some trees. And also not all animals can live in wetland ecosystem. Some animals can live in wetland ecosystem. Clear? The example here we have marsh. Marsh, it's a type of wetland ecosystem. Okay, in this ecosystem, we said before that we can find living parts and also what? Non-living parts. Because they live together in the same ecosystem, they what? They act together. They interact with each other. Okay, so the living parts of an ecosystem depend on non-living parts. Living parts depend on non-living parts. You know how? Okay, I will give you example. Living parts, if we talk about plants, okay? Plants, what plants need from this ecosystem to live and grow? Need non-living parts, like what? Plants need sunlight to grow, right? Plants need air, plants need water, okay? Plants need also soil. So by this way, you know that the living parts of an ecosystem depend on non-living parts clear 
not only depend on non-living, also living parts depend on one another, mean living depend on living. Again, living depend on living and living depend on non-living, clear? Again, living parts of ecosystem depend on non-living parts and also living parts depend on one another, clear? How? The second example here, how living parts depend on living also. The example is like a bear, okay? Bear eat what? Eat fish. So bear is a living, eat another living like fish, clear? Okay, in marsh wetland ecosystem, we have some examples for animals and plants that live in this ecosystem. The first one here, what can you see? What its name, this one, its name is a box turtle. It's a turtle, okay? Its name is a box turtle. This turtle live on land near wetland, okay? But we have another kind of turtles that live in the same ecosystem. What its name? Its name is a marsh turtle and pond turtle, okay? So till now we have three kinds of turtles that live in a, a marsh wetland ecosystem. The first one, this one, box turtle, live on land. But we have two more kinds of turtles that live in marsh ecosystem, but live in water, like pond turtle and like what? Marsh turtle. Okay. Here in this picture, what can you see? This is what this animal, it's, or this bird, its name is a great egrets. Great egrets. Great egrets live where? In the marsh, wet land ecosystem. Okay, eat what? How, how here this living, if we talk about this one especially, how this living depend on non-living and how depend on one another depend on living. This egret depend on non-living by swimming in water. Water is non-living. By drinking water, water is non-living, clear? By breathe air, air is non-living, okay? How depend on another living things? By eating fish or eating frogs, okay? Frogs and fish, they are what, living or non-living? They are living. Clear? Okay. The third animal that live in marsh, wetland ecosystem, its name is raccoons. Do you know this one? Raccoon. Okay, this raccoon live in this ecosystem. Okay. And it's a living, right? It's an animal, so it's a living part. Depend on also non-living and also depend on living. How depend on non-living? How depend on living? Depend on living by eating what? By eating. Sometimes eat plants, sometimes eat fish or small other animals. Clear? How depend on non-living? By drink water. Clear? Like this. Okay. Questions in this page we have questions. Draw another living things might find in the wetland. Tell how it interacts in the ecosystem. We choose already dragons, dragonflies. Do you remember this one? Dragonflies eat other insects. This its picture. Okay, it's an animal. It's a kind of animal. It's insect. Okay. And this one eat what? Eat other insects, clear? Live where? Live in marsh wetland ecosystem. Lives in marsh wetland ecosystem or dragon flies live in marsh ecosystem. The second question, tell what might happen to a marsh turtle if the water in the ecosystem dried. We said before that marsh turtle like to live where? In water, okay, like to live in water. 
Suppose no water. If the water dried, what will happen for this turtle? Can't live, right? Can't live in this ecosystem. It will die. So the turtle would not be able to live in the ecosystem because it lives in water. Then complete the questions again. How do you think turtles interact with insects in the ecosystem? Also, we answered already this one. How, how do you think this turtle interact with insects? How? Here living things and here also living things. How? By eating them, right? They eat them. Then the last question in this page, how might raccoon interact with living and non-living things in this marsh? We already answered this question. Raccoon to interact with living by eating them. How interact with non-living by swimming water, by breathe air, by drink water, like this. It might eat the plants and small animals. It might drink the water. Okay, today we will complete our lesson. I make first, I made the revision to be sure that all of you understand, okay? Please, all of you open with me page 208, write the date on this page and put your pencil down, be with me. <coughs> In this page, we want to talk about habitat. Also this word, I think you take it in grade two before, what is the meaning of habitats? Habitats, what is the meaning of habitats? Habitat is a place. Habitat is a place where living thing make its home. Habitat is a place. In this place, the living things make what? Make its home, make its home. So here, this is the meaning. A place where a living thing makes its home is its habitat. So what is the meaning of habitat? Habitat is a place where a living thing make it, makes its home. Again, habitat is a place where a living thing makes its home. Okay, where can living thing make its home? In its habitat. So habitat is a place where a living thing makes its home. Again, repeat with me. Habitat is a place where living thing makes its home. Makes its home, clear? So in this habitat, we can find everything, right? We can find plants, we can find animals, and also plants and animals, they should find what they need in their habitat, right? They should find what they need in their habitat, how they can live in this habitat without meet their need, without find what they need. They can't. So a habitat has everything that plants and animals need to live, that plant and animal needs to live, okay? What they need, they should find in this habitat to live. If they don't find what they need in their habitat, they will leave their habitat and travel to another habitat, okay? So, the meaning of habitat is a place where a living thing makes its home. In this habitat, Plants and animals, they should meet their need. They should find what they need, clear? Or if they don't find what they need, they will leave it and travel to another habitat, to another place. What is the example of habitat we have in our book? The example of habitats here, water in wetland. Water, water is a habitat in this wetland. In water, we can find many living things can live in water, like fish, like turtle, like frog. Clear? Okay, so water is a habitat. It's a place where living thing 
makes its home. Not only animals, also plants, some grasses can live in this water, right? So water is a habitat. In their habitat, plants and animals, they should meet their need. They find what they need. The second example here, trees in a rainforests, like this picture. Trees in a rainforest. In a rainforest, we can find tall trees, okay? These trees act like what? Make like a habitat, like a place, like a home for some animals like home for some animals here the example is what who can live on the trees like monkeys monkeys live on the trees okay we have one question here in this page the question is What is the habitat? Sorry. What is the habitat of the blue spot butterfly fish in this picture? Okay, see with me the picture. We talked till now about two habitats. What are these? Water in a wetland, trees in a rainforest. Clear? Also, we have another habitat. We can find in this habitat what? Blue spot butterfly fish. This is a kind of fish. Its name is what? It has a long name like blue spot butterfly fish. Blue spot because it has spots, its color is blue. Clear? Butterfly fish. It looks like butterfly, so its name is a blue spot butterfly fish. Fish, so live where? In which habitat? On land or in water? Water, right? So, do you know what is the meaning of its habitat? What do you think? Who can answer this question? Rawan? Yes. What's your uh, answer, please? Tell me. If we talk about kind of animal, its name is a blue spot butterfly fish. Fish. So what its habitat? Rowan, live where? On land or in water? Rowan, please. Live under water. Bravo, in water, thank you. So the answer will be, wait, I'm sorry. the water around the coral reef, like this picture. What its name this fish again? Its name is a blue spot butterfly fish. Blue spot butterfly fish. Live where? Live in water. Around what here? What can you see? Coral reef. It's a kind of plant that live in water, especially in ocean. Clear? Coral reef, it's a kind of the plant that live in ocean, deep, deep in ocean. So the answer is the water around the coral reef. Clear? So in the world, we have many, many habitats, many kinds of habitats. Clear? Not all plants and animals live in the same habitat. No, we have different habitats for different plants and animals. 
But in our book, we have some examples like the water here, I mean the, like the ocean here, okay? And which one can live in ocean? Fish, right? This one, what its name? Blue spot butterfly fish can live in this ocean around the coral reef because they feed on this coral reef, clear? Okay. Move with me to the second part in the same page, groups within ecosystems. Groups within ecosystems. Groups. If we want to talk about groups, so we will talk about a new word here. Its name is population. Population. Again, all of you repeat with me. Say slowly first. Population. <clears throat> Again, population. Again, now fast, please. Population. Again, population. Again, population. What is the meaning of population? Group. Okay, population means group. Population means all the living things of the same kind live in the same place. Same kind live in the same place. Again, population mean living things. We talk about living things. If we talk about population, this means talk about living things. The same kind, they should be same kind. To say population, these living things should be the same kinds. Mean, what are the same kinds like? Group of, group of monkeys make population. Group of cats make population. Group of birds, the same kind of birds make population. Should be the same kind, like this, clear? Group, okay? So, and they should what else? They should live in the same place. They should live in the same place. Again, population mean living things of the same kind live in the same place. The example, like uh, if we talk about the forest, okay. If we talk about the monkeys in the forest, the group of monkeys that live in the forest, this make population. Clear? Uh, another example, the group of camel that live in the desert, in the same place, they should be in the same place, and same kind. The group of camel that live in the desert make also population. Clear? Group of living things that live in the same place. Group of living things that live where? In the same place, make population. So what is the meaning again of population? All the living things of the same kind that live in the same place make up a population. What, what is the example we have here in our book? For example, all the blue spot butterfly fish. This is a kind of fish, right? This kind, all of them, they, the same. Blue spot butter fly fish live around the coral reef make up one population they should be the same kind so what is the kind we have here kind of fish what its name blue spot butterfly fish it has a long name we said before live where in the same place what is this place coral, coral reef in ocean, coral reef, around the coral reef. The coral reef is a plant in ocean, that live in ocean. By this way, these fish, they make what? They make population, clear? This is the meaning of population, like in this picture. We have here population. Can you see this one? Where's this population here? These are the blue spot butterflies fish, okay? We have here three. So this group, three fish, three, okay? These three, 
the same kind? Yeah, they are the same kind. In the same place? Yeah, they live in the same place. By this way, they can make population. Clear? Look here to these, another kind of fish. We have different kinds, sure. We have in ocean, we have different kinds, many, many kinds of fish, right? Live in ocean. Each group, each same kind, make population. So these three make population. These, the pink, the pink fish, the different one, they make another population. So in this, but in the same place. So in the same place, we can find only one kind of population? No, we have many kinds of population, many kinds of population. Clear? Okay. Again, again. Population mean all the living things of the same kind that live in the same place make up a population. The example here, the blue spot butterfly fish, this group, okay, live around the coral reef, this one, the plants, make up population. But here, 